Hey, man, this is the fight to freaking make, man. I hope UFC does this rematch. Check this out. Hamza Chumayev, don't talk too much, Musman. You're lost. These people are proud of their losses. WTF. I'm most dangerous guy here. I got a gun for everyone. I kill everybody. All the weapons. So if you don't know why Hamza Chumayev is tweeting that about Kamara Usman, I'll tell you right now. So Usman, uh... I don't know if you guys know, Usman has a podcast with Henry Cejudo, and Chael Sonnen was on it, and he was talking about Hamza Chimaev. Let me just play it for you. It'll be much easier. Check this out. What was Chimaev like? What was he like? Was he different? Was he special? Yeah, Chael, you know, you just you you get in those those type of fights and those positions to where you you build something up in your mind, in your head, and everyone's especially now in this machine of the UFC of MMA, you build them up in your head. Then you get in there and you go, that wasn't that, that wasn't special. I was, there was nothing different that I haven't seen. Had I given it a little bit more, had I given myself a little bit more credit, that would have totally A little totally bit more time. Different. Now, after what Kamara Usman said right there, he also said, uh, as you guys know, he took that fight in short notice. It was like 10 days or something. He said in my comments, there was a lot of people saying, you're going to lose, you're going to lose, you're going to lose. Hamza's gonna smash you, you're gonna lose, you're gonna lose, you're gonna lose, and he was doubting himself, okay? But when I first saw that, I didn't take that clip as Usman is dissing Hamza. I didn't. Did you? I didn't, man. You all saw that fight, dog. Now, I'm a Kamara Usman fan, bro. Kamara Usman is a legend, but I'm also a Hamza fan, and I also watched that fight. Now, check this out, bro. I showed you that tweet. Uh, Hamza's basically clapping back at Usman. He also said this. I never choose my opponents. Only cowards choose their opponents. Undefeated. Now, like I just said, we all watched that fight. You watched that fight. I watched that fight. Try to remember that fight, okay? Look at the comments, bro. Look at the comments. Took it on six days notice. Up a weight. You are running from a full camp five rounder. Where were you when he called you out both, both had full camps? Now, look at this. I don't think he's proud that... I don't think he's proud, but there's no disputing you hardly beat him. Arguably lost. That's the truth. Now, that fight, Kamara Usman took it on super short notice. Going up a weight class to fight Hamza. Now, Hamza did say he broke his hand in the first round. And, Doug, after that fight, the word was... Some of the, a lot of people after that fight, if you go look at the comments, if you go, just go back then, okay? Go watch that fight and go look at the comments under the videos on YouTube. A lot of people were saying, hey, Usman got robbed. A lot of people were saying, dog, you barely beat him. And a lot of people were saying, if this was five rounds, you would have lost. In my opinion, this is a perfect rematch to make, dog. If UFC doesn't make this rematch... I don't know what they're thinking. This is absolutely perfect, bro. Both of them, full camp, full camp. And in my opinion, this should be five rounds, bro. In my opinion, this should be a five-round fight. And I don't know, dog. Like, I understand what Usman is saying. When I say I understand, not because I've been in that situation. I'm not, I don't have experience, you know. But what I'm saying is I watched that fight. I completely get what he was saying. Usman is a freaking legend, man. Me, personally, I thought Hamzad is going to run right through Usman. Especially because of the short notice. But, dog, Usman is a legend. And a lot of people, man, like, in the comments, like, they're going at Hamza. And I understand why they're going at Hamza. Besides political reasons, forget about that. A lot of people's word is, hey, dog, you fight once a year. Now, we don't know what's going on with Hamza. Like I said, I'm a Hamza fan, dog. I want to see Hamza twice a year. But there's a lot of rumors out there. And I don't know which one is true, which one is not true. You don't either. Oh, the fact that he can't get into the United States. This, that. Like, I don't know if it's true. So I can't believe it. Now, I know he's been having, like, some health issues and stuff. If that's the reason why he's barely fighting, I don't know. Like, it could be. But a lot of people, when you go read the comments, when you go see what people are saying about Hamza, a lot of people are like, hey, dog, you fight once a year and you fight overseas and you never fight, bro. Like, and you you basically lost to Usman. That's what a lot of people are saying. I hope Hamza fights a couple times this year, but I truly think they should make this rematch, dog. They should make this rematch. Both of them having full camps. Of course, they're going to have full camps and a five-round fight, dog. Because that first fight, dog, hey, I, after that, look, after I watched that fight, Obviously, I saw it live, you know, not not in person, but I saw it live. After that, my respect for Usman 
went a trillion times more. I was always a Usman fan, but I wasn't like a diehard fan, dog. After that Hamza fight, dog, and I like I'm not being biased. Like I said, I'm a Hamza fan too, bro. I like Hamza a lot, but that fight right there, dog, short notice, going up a weight class. Now I know Hamza went up a weight class too, like before. But Hamza is big, dog. No homo, dog. Hamza is he's big, dog. He's 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 big. He's a 185 pounder. Let's just keep it real. And Usman went up there, went to decision, and a lot of people are saying Usman got robbed. But I truly think they should make this fight. Both healthy, full training camps, five rounds. And, and like I said, Hamzat said his hand broke in the first round too. That's why he wasn't throwing his hand the last two rounds. So this will be a perfect rematch to make. Let me know what you think of this in the comments. First of all, let me know who you think won that first fight. Second of all, who do you think is going to win the second fight? Five rounds. Let me know what you think of this in the comments. It'll mean the world to me if you like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification. Thanks so much for watching.